Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing our series, Four Weeks of Famous Philosophers, slowly and steadily. In this video we're going to be looking at Gossip Frege, inventor of modern logic, champion of logicism, and founder of analytic philosophy. Now, though he was largely unnoticed in his lifetime, Frege's work had a profound and lasting impact on 20th century philosophy, and he's arguably one of the fathers of analytic philosophy, which is the philosophy that we do here on the channel. Frege wrote one of the three most important logical texts of all time. He invented propositional calculus, also known as quantification logic, which eventually overtook Aristotle's categorical logic as the primary logic used in philosophy. He pioneered the so-called linguistic turn, which led philosophers to examine our commitments in terms of the language that we use. He was one of the champions of a position known as logicism, which claimed that math could be reduced to logical statements. In this video, we're going to cover some of the brief highlights of Frege's life. So, Frege's life was not as eventful as many of the philosophers we've examined. He was born in 1848 in modern-day mecklenburg vorpommern Germany. His father was the principal of a girls' high school there. He studied at a gymnasium in Wismar, and after graduating, went on to study at the University of Jena and later at the University of Göttingen. He did his PhD work in mathematics, specifically geometry. After graduating, he turned to logic. His first book outlined his new form of logic, which used variables and the rules of a formal language to function, which was unique. Usually we previously had only used kind of formal language and deductive rules in that way in mathematics, but he brought it along to logic. And he would go on to publish a book which is considered to be one of the three most important texts in logic of all time, next to works of Aristotle and the person we're going to be covering next, Bertrand Russell. And he eventually published three papers comparing two different things, one of which is the On Sense and Reference, which is a very well-known work of Frege's before his death in 1925. Now, up until this point in history, our understanding of formal logic had really been purely Aristotelian, or effectively based around Aristotle and his ideas, or what we might call today categorical logic. This logic took all sentences as having a subject and a predicate, and explained several relations between these two things. So, all x are y, no x are y, some x are y, and some x are not y. If you're curious, check out my series on categorical logic. Frege's logic took this further by using variables to represent sentences and finding ways we could kind of use these terms of universal or existential quantification to quantify over them. And it could handle other relations and quantify over the particulars in those statements. So statements like, all dogs chase some cats who chase some rats who eat some cheese became easy to represent, and we had a clear way of doing that in Frege's logic, which we didn't have in the previous Aristotelian logic. For more on the differences between categorical logic and propositional calculus and, or predicate calculus, and the reason that change was so significant, watch the 100 days of logic, and you'll really see how different categorical logic is from what we use today but also how categorical logic had its influences in the logic we use today. Now, Frege was a staunch advocate of a position known as logicism, which claimed that mathematics could be reduced to logic. Frege famously failed in this project due to one of the axioms in his system, which is known as Basic Rule 5, which Russell pointed out to him in a letter just before the book's publication could be used to derive Russell's paradox. Frege attempted to modify the rule, but is generally considered to have been unsuccessful. However, some philosophers still believe that we can represent all of mathematics with the laws of formal logic, we just haven't really done it in a clear way yet. Check out my series on paradoxes for more on Russell's paradox. I think it's in the month of paradox. Now, 
Frege also made great advances in the philosophy of language. As I mentioned, he was part of the linguistic turn, and one of his most famous publications was On Sense and Reference, where he made a distinction between the sense of a word and the reference of a word. The sense of a word was the way it was presented, basically, and the reference of the word was the object that it referred to. So for example, the morning star and the evening star are two different senses for the same object. There are two different ways that we speak about the planet Venus. Frege examined two puzzles of sense and reference in his paper, and then Russell went on to examine two more puzzles. So for additional info on these puzzles and more, check out my series on Four Puzzles in the Philosophy of Language, where we outline some of Frege's positions as well as some of Russell's positions in the philosophy of language. That was Gottlob Frege inventor of modern logic, champion of logicism, and founder of analytic philosophy. Next up, we are going to take a look at Bertrand Russell himself. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.